Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these salt and pepper shakers, some foam balls, faux snow, and little trees from Dollar Tree. I open up the salt and pepper shakers and hot glue one tree inside of each of the salt and pepper shakers. I then take some faux snow and pour that inside each of them, just enough to cover the bottom of the tree. Next, I take ink color chalk paint by Waverly and paint both of the lids to the salt and pepper shakers. And I give that two coats. And then I take these foam balls that I got from Dollar Tree. They are 1.9 inches. I put them on a skewer just so they're easier to paint. And I use a sponge to apply it just to try to fill in the holes. And I'm using white acrylic paint to paint those. Once those are dry, I take the foam balls and hot glue them to each of the salt and pepper shakers, making sure that hole I had made is facing downward. And I'll be using these Posca paint markers to paint in the snowman faces. And the black wasn't working that well for the eye, so I ended up taking the ink chalk paint again in the back of a pencil, so just on the eraser, and dabbed some dots for the eyes and then use the black paint marker to make dots for the mouth. Once those were dry, I used the white paint pen to fill in little dots in the eyes, and then take the orange one and draw the nose and I just did one coat on each of these. And the pens didn't have a good color for the pink, so I used Cameo Pink acrylic paint and a little sponge applicator and just dabbed on the cheeks for rosy cheeks on both of those. And then hot glued the lids at an angle on each of the foam balls. and then take snow text and apply that to the tops of each of the lids, which are the snowman hats. And then I take this scarf and that is also from Dollar Tree. I placed down the salt and pepper shaker snowman just to get the width of how wide I needed it and then I ended up folding it over just to get it covered right below the face and then twist that kind of on the side didn't want it to cover the tree and then cut off the excess and then I cut slits up each of those pieces to make it look like little frayed ends And that's it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.